Exhaling forward. In the space, a sense of Inhaling order back. and anticipation. So inhaling up. Once the mats come out and the shoes come off, this gym is transformed into a place where these young men practice movements, uh, meditation, and breathing. Oba Joyner is one of the instructors. Just dealing with trauma, the things that may occur in the city, um, any old everyday thing, yoga isn't just something that you practice when you're on a mat, it's something that you, you, know, you live the practice of yoga. Since March, yoga and mindfulness training have been used here at the Baltimore Juvenile Justice Center with children charged as adults. That's the, the primary focus because uh, they're here the longest. On average, staying 180 days. The Secretary for Juvenile Services admits being skeptical when first hearing about it. When you say yoga, you say, wow, why are we doing yoga with, uh, with kids? But it's not really yoga, it's mindfulness training. The, the suggestion came from a judge who once was in charge of juvenile court and wanted to try to develop yeah, different really habits the kids could also yourself, use as adults. The habits of actually slowing down, thinking about what they're doing before they actually do something which is going to get them into trouble or hurt somebody else or themselves. Exhale to the ready pose. You can take deep I breaths for 15, 20 seconds and you can just feel your Slow body down. calm down and you can feel your thoughts begin to move at a much slower pace and you're thinking, maybe I don't want to do that. The Holistic Life Foundation conducts the classes Tuesday and Friday nights. Jerron Wallace tells us about an incident where a teen learned a breathing exercise and immediately showed a juvenile services staff member how to do it. Seeing that it affected him in a way that he thought was positive and he immediately wanted to introduce that to someone else was definitely awesome. They have tools in place now to uh, you know, ratchet themselves down and calm themselves down. Anything distracting you, maybe like a sound or a feeling that's blocking you from staying focused on your breath, you want to exhale that distraction out your body. Juvenile Services says it's an effort to teach how to make good decisions, and so far it's had good results, especially in reducing conflict in the housing unit. For the 11 News I team, I'm Barry Sims. Very interesting. There are also classes for girls. Juvenile Services is evaluating the program's success rate now, and the judge hopes it can eventually be expanded.